Hey everyone, Donnie with Anderson Ford Motorsport here. Today we're going to be talking about the Anderson Tensioner Adjuster for your passenger side mounted Vortex Supercharger kits. So here's the Anderson Tensioner assembly here. Very simple piece, nice built aluminum. It mounts to the supercharger head unit with this bolt here. And this is the bolt that gets your mechanical advantage to tighten down your bracket assembly. I do have two versions of those bracket assemblies here for the tensioners. One is from an older style uh, supercharger kit. One you'd probably find like on a used kit on the market or one if you had like an older supercharger kit already installed on your vehicle. This one here is from a modern kit, one that Vortec made a change on and this one would require some modification. So I'm gonna show you how you would utilize this piece here with both these style bracket assemblies and how to modify this one to make it match up. Okay, so here are your main mounting holes for the tensioner bracket assembly. These three bolts, these three holes are used for your factory style tensioner here. And then this bolt would be used for your Anderson tensioner. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and put the factory Vortec old school tensioner assembly on here real quick. All right, so you get the idea. So essentially, here's how the tensioner would get tension on the belt. When you push down, it pushes down on the belt. And then the Anderson tensioner here would mount to this hole. Now it's imperative that this hole is actually open so you can actually install this. So we're gonna go ahead and swing that down out of the way. Install our Anderson tensioner onto this hole here. All right. And then depending on how tight it is, of course you can back this out all the way. And of course your supercharger belt would be in there. And so if you have it all installed, and instead of using these holes here to put a, a wrench in here to tighten the belt down, instead of using your, uh, your leverage, you can have this use its mechanical advantage by, as you can see here, pushing down on the tensioner assembly. So once you get your desired tension, use your jam nut here, lock it down, and then you can just tighten up all these bolts without having to both hold uh, a wrench here and then of course another socket wrench to tighten up these bolts. Makes it very, very simple to tighten these down and get good supercharger belt tension. Okay, so for illustration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and show you with this new bracket installed, why you need to modify it for your Anderson tensioner to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this real quick. So you get reference. Okay, so just for example, even with the tensioner fully down, you can see it's still covering up that hole a little bit where you can't not thread that bolt. So this would actually not be able to be installed with this like this as it is. So you would need to cut a straight line along the bracket so that way this will fit. It'll actually be closer to this shape, Nick, to be able to make this work. So again, if you have a newer style supercharger kit that has this bracket, that's got this odd shape to it with this bulge out, all you need to do is cut it in a straight line, edge to edge, to be able to put the bolt and the tensioner assembly back into here. Once you do that, then it'll be fully functional again to be able to use this tool. So it's a nice little piece here. I highly recommend it, especially if you're experiencing any issues where you can't get the supercharger belt tight enough by using your own leverage and strength. This will give you the mechanical advantage you need to where it uses the bolt and jam nut to do it for you. So nice little piece here. Just remember that I modify the newer brackets.